Hey, peace, what's up, y'all? D Prime215 here. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly. So, for this video, talking about the upcoming verses between the Locks and Dipset, August 3rd, Madison Square Garden. Man, you know, heavily anticipated, not just by myself, but pretty much by everyone in the hip hop world. So, you have two of the greatest hip hop groups to ever do it, most definitely within the past 20 years, and most definitely in the New York City surrounding areas, man. So, like, both of these groups, very instrumental, very important in my upbringing, in my childhood and all that. So many memories, like, you know, these verses battles are always like, you know, it's a lot of sentimental value in here. So it's like, I have so many memories, you know, of these records. And I think, you know, these groups and everything, it's safe to say that um, I think a, a key difference between, you know, the locks and dipset is like, you know, the locks, they're known more for like, you know, their, their bars, more for the lyrics. And then Dipset is no more for like their anthems and like, you know, that's the type of vibe I get from Dipset, you know, just in my opinion at least, right? I expect for this versus to be very, very close. I would be very disappointed if there was a landslide victory. Like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, how, how are you going to let that, how are you going to let that happen, right? So, um, as for who I'm going with, it's tough, but, you know, me being more of a fan of, of the bars like, I had to go with the locks, man. Had to go with the locks. We ain't gonna act like Dipset ain't got bars, though. You know what I'm saying? We put respect on everybody's name. But, you know, I, I'm just a little more into, into the locks and Dipset. They were just more of my pick growing up, you know, um, generally speaking. But, once again, all the love and respect to Dipset. So, also, another thing going into this. You know, every member in the locks and Dipset, you know, they pretty much have very robust, um, you know, uh, solo uh, catalogs as well and maybe other side group things that they've done you know like you had like styles p and green landon and you know uh harry fraud and jim jones so like you had like so many like you know solo uh catalogs and like you know group catalogs they did outside of their groups and collectives so i expect to hear like a lot of stuff played i don't think it's just going to be locks records and dip set records it's probably going to be you know i expect to hear you know balling i expect to hear uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the rock. And that's another thing, too. I want to see, like, the guest appearances, right? Because that's something that's been, you know, a bit, you know, a bit abound of late, as of late, with uh, the verses, seeing, like, you know, guest artists come through and bless, you know, the stage and everything. And this is going to be a Madison Square Garden, so I expect them to pull out all the stops. I just want to see, you know, I'm from Philly, so, like, I want to see not just state property. I know someone got to be there, all right? Someone got to, we got it for me, if no one else, for me, I would like to hear Reservoir Dogs, you know what I'm saying? And it's interesting, though, because, you know, State Property, like, one of, another one of my favorite records from, like, the Dipset Camp is, you know, It's the Rock by Cameron. And Beanie Siegel went completely off on that joint. AMF is bleak, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I just want to see who they bringing out. I wonder if Ray Ray is going to be there, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Nine Times Out of Ten and all that. So... Long story short, I'm looking forward to this versus big time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The locks and dipset, once again, very instrumental to me. You know, super duper influential in my life. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like when the dipset anthem come on, I don't care what it, what's going on. Rise at attention, right hand on my chest, lean back in a rhythmic fashion. I hear mighty, mighty D block, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just certain certain records, you know what I'm saying? I was getting my hair cut the other day. I walked in and they had We Gonna Make It playing. So, like, are they going to do the remix with Eve? I don't know. I'm looking forward to this. I want to see what they're going to pull out. Mixtape verses, solo verses, group songs. Ah, man, I'm excited for this, man. That's all y'all really need to know. Who you guys looking at winning? Do you think Dipset's going to take it? Do you think Lox is going to take it? Do you think this is somehow going to be a draw? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to win? Ultimately, I'm going with the locks. I'm going with D-Block. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to your truly once again, D-Prime215. And we'll see you what it's hitting for, man. This is, this is monumental, man. This is history. So, the locks and D-Block. One time. The locks and D-Block. The locks and Dipset. See, I'm too biased, I guess. The locks and Dipset. One time. Peace.